The new Verdant Wonders event is live in Pokemon Go, and with it, a very important mythical Pokemon returns. We got a bunch of new shiny Pokemon, a new costume Pokemon that can be shiny. We got a bunch of research. There's a lot going on. I can't wait to claim my Zerud. Hopefully the research is quick and easy, but here is mine that I have from years back, 2021. It's a really good IV, 10, 15, 15 Zerud right here. I'm proud of this guy, I appreciate him, but I could definitely get a better one. So hopefully that happens. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys Zerud is. Here's a look at the collection challenge we have going on. We gotta catch Bulbasaur, Oddish, Hoppip, Shroomish, and the new costume Cottony and evolve them all for 5,000 XP, 2,500 dust in an encounter. That should be fun. Might be able to finish that today. And then we have the Rogue of the Jungle special research in which we get the mythical Pokemon Zerud. It's five stages. Stage one, complete five tasks, catch 25 grass types, evolve three grass types. Not too bad. I feel like I could finish stage one today, but I do like the spawns in the event. We have the brand new shiny for baby, not right there. We have a bunch of grass types. Actually, let's catch this for the collection challenge. We'll evolve that later. We got a bunch of Nuzleaves here, a bunch of hop pips, a lot of grass types, obviously, in the wild for this event, but especially a lot of shiny eligibles, which is exciting. Also, kind of random, but there's a Shadow Pine Co raid. It's right here. It could be shiny. Let's go do that. All right, here we go. This should be, ah, I picked the wrong squad. Gosh darn it, but this should be quick either way. Let's take this thing down and get a shiny shadow squad check. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. And no shiny shadows. 589 CP. I don't know if that's going to be any good, but it's always worth trying to get a shiny shadow. Down that goes right there. 589 CP. Okay, two star. Not bad. Not going to do anything with it, but it was worth a shot. Oh, here we go. Two more Flabebe checks. These are honestly, they're going to be tough shinies to get because they're regional, which is great, but you cannot tell at all if they're shiny. We'll have to pay close attention. I think I did this showcase in our last adventure, right? Yeah, we're already in this, but I am on the lookout for an extra, extra large full of baby as well throughout the day. Well, we got to catch a bunch of grass types. We got to get a bunch of collection challenge stuff done. So let's pop a daily incense and see what the spawns are like. Hold on, hold on wait, this is a, this is a shiny Zerua check. Hold on. We got a wild Zerua here. This is a Rotom, which is crazy. An extra, extra small Rotom. It's going to be a Zerua, but this could be a shiny. Here's Steve's check. It was a Milotic and not a shiny Zerua. Here's John's tech. It was a Kyogre and not a shiny. And here's my, where the heck, what? Bro, look at this glitch, look at this glitch. Rotom went off the map. Like I literally can't even hit it. What the, dude, what am I supposed to do? It's literally off the, oh, it's just back. Okay, I've never seen that before. What? And here's my check. This is my first time ever catching a Zerua Rotom. Not a shiny Zerua. I'm pretty sure Zerua is a part of the event, kind of. There's gonna be more of them. 429 CP, still don't have the shiny, never will. One star. Oh, and here's the star of the event, not a shiny. Costume Cottony, brand new costume Pokemon. Obviously love going for those exclusive shinies. So we're gonna be hunting for that today. There it is, Costume Cottony. All right, uh, should I do this? I'll do it later. But here we go, let's pop our daily incense with the squad. Three, two, one, let's see what we got. First spawn is a Spritzy, not shiny. Oh wait, I got a Spatial Rend. Okay, as usual, let's pop about 20 minutes worth of a Spatial Rend so we can get more spawns on the screen. Oh, and we got an Onyx right off the rib. Come on, give me, no. Blitzo, no. Oddish, no. Oh, and there's a Costume Cottony on the daily, nice. Oddish again, come on. Another Cottony, come on. Two kilometer egg. I hate small live with all of my heart. Oh yeah, you're right, there's Sudowoodo. Where's Brandon at? It's been a while. Oh, it's a Sudowoodo nest. That is funny. I haven't seen one of these in a while. All right, well, looks like Brandon's coming back to the bay for a visit soon, huh? Come on. Well, it's kind of crazy. Um, This is usually a path I would take for the daily incense, but it is flooded. I mean, a lot. This is, I mean, I usually walk all the way down and over. This is flooded way too much. I guess we're gonna have to go somewhere else for this daily incense, but that is, that's a lot of water. This is some wild stuff. This is usually the path I take. I mean, this is a, a, a solid amount of water that has flooded this area. I would say maybe at least like 10 feet, 15 feet. I guess it's been raining a lot, but this is pretty crazy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna push, man. That is a tree. That is a full on, like, you know, like one of these trees. That's a tree. And that is absolutely submerged. Wild. As you guys saw, the daily incense got cut off, quite literally. Our path was obstructed. We got 13 Pokemon, a good amount of costume cottony, so they are out and about. And we are catching a lot of stuff that we need. I think the last thing is a Bulbasaur, if I remember correctly. So we can get the collection challenge done now. Okay, collection challenge is done. Let me do a bunch of evolutions right now. I guess I will show off the brand new costume uh, Whimsicott evolution. And then I'll get the other ones done, and then we'll claim this gosh darn thing. And in the meantime, Meantime, I will work on getting the research, special research done, so we can get one step closer to Zerud. Apparently, it's not that hard though, because I've seen people claim their Zeruds already. Uh, so they are out and about. There's Whimsicott in Pokemon Go. Very cool. Brand new costume. I need that shiny. Wait, check this out. Extra, extra large full baby. I said I needed that earlier, and we get it. Remember how absolutely broken the premium showcase rewards are? This is a huge catch if it's a rank one. Okay, collection challenge is done, but we also have a Shadow Scyther raid right here. I'm gonna hop in. Shadow Shiny eligible. 
available. I have actually like four or five of these for some reason, but let's get another. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Uh, nothing. All right, 1511. Let's see if it gotta hit it. Let's see if it's gonna be any good. Come on. Okay, 1511. Scyther is a, wow, whoa, a three star. Very nice. Okay, I'll take that. All right, here we are popping into the, oh, okay. We have the showcase upgrade. It's a rank two. Okay, I might have to swap this somewhere else, but I will take a rank two. I can still get a lot better stuff. Very nice, very important. Be on the lookout. Okay, collection challenge has been completed. Give me 5,000 XP, 2,500 dust, and an encounter. I'm gonna assume this is a costume cottony. I am correct, not a shiny. Oh, and there goes an ultra ball straight into the ground. Did not mean to do that. So let's grab that with a Pokeball. Very nice. And now I think it's time to do a shiny special trait because why the heck not? Also, probably our best IV cottony of the day. Two star. Probably not. Never mind. Also, here's the squad's daily incenses. Eight Pokemon for Steve. Not great. I mean, it got cut off. Not our fault. And here's John's incense. Ten Pokemon. All right. Okay, special trade going down. Shiny Ammonite Swap. A very random Pokemon, but a very cool shiny. One of those OG shinies that everyone remembers getting their, their first one. At least I did. Uh, I'm trading a 2018 Shiny Ammonite. One of the oldest shinies in the game. Dude, that's the first year shinies came out in this game. So here we go. Shiny special trade. Could be a lucky. Phone screens down. That is a six-year-old Ammonite. Let that sit. Let that marinate ladies and gents three two one oh ammonite oh very nice shiny lucky ammonite for steve 205 shundo oh my gosh 15 attack three star shiny lucky ammonite that's what i'm talking about Nice. Let's go. Wow. Gotta love that. That was awesome. Great start to the event. Very cool, man. I think that's my first ever shiny lucky Ammonite. That does not happen every day. Let's search that. And it is. Wow. Very nice. Cool. It's kind of a jungly Pokemon. It's not that far off. I think it works. I'm enjoying this event. I need to get my Zygarde ASAP. But speaking of events, the brand new sizable surprises event just got announced. It starts Thursday, April 4th and ends on Tuesday, April 9th. First ever event, by the way. We got a bunch of new shinies in this event. Shiny Wimpod, finally, and Shiny Galissapod. Very cool Pokemon. Very, very cool shinies. Cannot wait for that. But that's not it. We also got Shiny Celesteela and Shiny Cartana, the Ultra Beast. Also very cool shinies. Not as like crazy as Guzzlord, but they're still pretty awesome. And they're relevant to catch as well, so that's going to be exciting. Love this so far. Bonuses for the event. Double XP for catching Pokemon with a nice throw or better, and an Increased chance to encounter extra, extra small and large Pokemon. That is huge news. Very underrated bonus. Take advantage. Those showcase premium rewards are crazy. You have seen them in the videos before, bro. 10,000 dust, incenses, lure modules, incubators. You get a bunch of really good stuff just for putting a Pokemon on a showcase. So catch those extra, extra large and smalls out there. Plus, another bonus. Increased chance to encounter Shiny Whalmer. Cool. There's obviously going to be showcases as a part of the event. Wild spawns. We got Diglett, Mantine, Whalmer, Joltik, Tynamo, Cutie Fly, Brand new shiny Wimpod, Sea Toddle, Onyx, and Snorlax. So a lot of very rare spawns right there. Great shinies. Let's talk raids. One star raids. Fungus, Clink, Esper, and Tadbulb. Not bad. Three star raids. Alolan Executor, Galarian Weezing, Gyarados, and Snorlax. Very nice. And then five star raids, of course. The Ultra Beast, Celesteela, and Cartana return. Celesteela will be in the Southern Hemisphere and Cartana in the Northern Hemisphere. Cartana, very meta relevant attacker. One of the best grass types and I think steel types as well in the game. So that's exciting. And I'm pretty sure Celesteela's got some play in PvP as well, and in Mega Raids, Mega Charizard X, the GOATS returns. In field research, we have Onyx, Snorlax, Whalmer, Tynamo, Cutie Fly, and the new Shiny Wimpod, very nice. It's gonna be Collection Challenge, it's gonna get you encounters with Wimpod and Whalmer and a bunch of goodies. This event is stacked. I love all the new Shinies, a lot of meta relevant stuff, an exciting time, especially again, to get those extra, extra large and small Pokemon. That's some great news, plus I forgot to mention this, Bagon Community Day is coming to Pokemon Go for Community Day Classic. It's going down Sunday, April 7th from 2 to 5 p.m. Shiny bag on. Very amazing shiny. OG shiny. It's been, gosh, I think it's been like six years, five or six years since the last bag on community day. That was a great time, but obviously Salamence is a great Pokemon. It's got a mega. It's awesome. Everybody loves Salamence. Stay on the lookout for bag on community day coming up in a few weeks. A lot of exciting things happening in Pokemon Go. You love to see it. We had a great time today, and we've had a great time in our last couple of adventures. Check them out if you guys have not already. I promise they're fun.